The price of a diluted imperial vision of Great Britain post-Brexit, 45 billion pounds, dollars 83 billion, as well as a loss of influence and trade, said Tom Brake, the Brexit spokesperson for the pro-EU Liberal Democrats, who want a second referendum once the Brexit deal is agreed. The Financial Times said Britain bows to EU. In search of Brexit breakthrough, citing unidentified diplomats as saying the government's offer could see it pay a net sum of up to 45 billion euros. The BBC reported the potential divorce bill could be worth up to 50 billion euros. Speaking in Berlin on Wednesday, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, said negotiators for Britain and EU are not yet there on a financial settlement. We are still working, Barnier said. UK politicians reacted more strongly, however, with Labour MP Peter Yuma, a leading supporter of the pro-EU group Open Britain, saying the shift was very significant. Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, Eva Met Secretary Michael Gove and other Leave campaigners never said there would be a big divorce bill to pay, quite the opposite, Yuma wrote on Twitter. This big news fact means the £350 million extra per week for the NHS. National Health Service, without which leaders say they would have lost the Brexit referendum, simply will not happen, he said. Henry Bolton, leader of the ad EU UK Independence Party, called the reported offer outrageous. Former UKIP leader Nigel Farage wrote in Wednesday's Telegraph that the offer reflects the government's sellout to the EU, that will unite the British people in disgust.